Ladies and gentlemen, the man at the podium is Chicago Police Department Superintendent David Brown. And he just came out recently and said Chicago police will no longer allow chase to people on foot because they run away. So they are no longer supposed to pursue anybody on foot. And this is because there were a few people that had did low level petty crimes. And when the police approached them, they ran and they ended up getting gunned down over some petty mess. You know, I don't think cops should do many things. I don't believe they should be shooting somebody during a traffic stop, you know, you're just looking for any reason to kill people. And you really are. And it tells me, you know, over the last few weeks, they're trying to tell everybody there, they believe in pro-life. No, you believe in pro-death and that's what your history shows. So let's get into this story, ladies and gentlemen. Chicago police officers will no longer be allowed to chase people on foot simply because they run away or give chase over minor offenses. The department said Tuesday, more than a year after two pursuits ended up in officers fatally shooting a 13-year-old boy and a 22-year-old man. Y'all might remember it was, um, the 13 year old was Anthony Alvarez. And I know y'all remember that shooting and Adam Toledo. Okay. They were both shot over petty crimes and they ran from the police. The new policy adheres closely to a draft policy put in place after those shootings and gives the department something it has never had permanent rules about when officers can and cannot engage in activity that can endanger themselves, those they're chasing and bystanders. We've been working in conjunction with the consent decree monitor and other stakeholders in getting this right. Chicago Police Superintendent David Brown said, under the policy, officers may give chase if they believe a person is committing or about to commit a felony, a class A misdemeanor, such as domestic battery or a serious traffic offense, such as drunken driving and street racing that could result in injuring others. Officers would not be allowed to chase people on foot if they suspect them of minor offenses, such as parking violations, driving on suspended license, uh, or drinking alcohol in public. But they will still have discretion to people who they have determined are committing or about to commit crimes with that post an obvious threat to any person. Yeah, but they could still shoot somebody and, you know, pursue and shoot somebody and claim this is what they were trying to do when they really weren't. Because, you know, let's face it, cops in America are the biggest liars on earth. Okay, perhaps the most significantly, uh, the policy makes clear that the days of officers giving chase just because someone tries to avoid them are over. People may avoid contact with a member for many reasons other than involvement in a crime activity policy say. Yeah, because everybody that's avoiding the police did not commit a crime. They just don't want to interact with the police. That's very true. You just got a bad reputation that you brought upon yourself. Okay, the names of a 13-year-old Adam Toledo, okay, Adam Toledo was 13, and 22-year-old and Anthony Alvarez, who were armed when they ran from police in separate March 20, 
21 pursuits are not mentioned in the news release in the news release announcing the policy or the policy itself but those pursuits particularly of alvarez cast a shadow over the policy mayor lori lightfoot demanded that the department create an interim policy after the shootings and the county's top prosecutor harshly criticized police about the alvarez pursuit it also appears that the police department took pains to prohibit just that kind of foot chase under the policy the chase of alvarez would apparently uh, not have been allowed for two key, uh, two key reasons first when the police chased him for a traffic violation they knew who he was and where he lived cook county state attorney kim fox told reporters in march yeah they didn't have to chase him because they knew where he was staying they knew who he was all right the second officers are no longer allowed to chase on foot people who are suspected of the kind of minor offenses that led to the trade the, the, the uh chase but ladies and gentlemen i'm i'm just saying i Cops don't follow policies in America. They don't, you know, because America has elevated police officers to God status. And they'll look at this policy and still go on the streets and do whatever the hell they want. All right, me uh, members of the Little Village Community Council have been vocal critics of the police policy after the shooting death of Toledo and Alvarez. So mm -mm -mm. we could write as many policies as we want, but if CPD is not going to follow them, there is no point in having all of these policies. And that's exactly what I'm saying okay, you put this in place, how many of them are going to follow it? Okay, uh, not many. Not many. So y'all tell me what you think. Do you think this is a good policy of not doing any more foot pursuits for people that have minor offenses? why don't y'all come up with a policy to get rid of all these Klansmen and, and neo-Nazis and, and, and people like that among your ranks? Y'all never come out with that policy. It's just amazing how you just keep overlooking that. But admit that these folks are in the police department, but I'll be damned if you never do a thing about it. Y'all, please tell me what you think about this article. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.